Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of limits. And in this question, we have been told that limit of x tends to pi by four with a function which is given to us as a root two minus cos x plus sin x raised to seven upon root two minus root to sin x. So we have to find the limit of this entire expression which has been given to us. And the four options are given to us as 7, 7 root 2, 14, and 14 root. So let's try to find out after solving this limit which of them is the correct option here. Let's see that. So first of all, if I try to solve this entire idea, so if I just substitute the value of the limit here as pi by 4, let's see what I get. So if I substitute the limit, I get this as 8 root 2 minus cos pi by 4, that is cos 45, that is 1 by root 2. And sin 45, that is also 1 by root 2. So it becomes 2 by root 2, that is root 2, is to 7. And denominator, we have root 2 minus root 2 into sin 2x, that is sin of 2 into pi by 4, that is sin pi by 2, that is 1. So if you solve this, you get 8 root 2. Root 2 raised to 7 is also 8 root 2. And here we get root 2 minus root 2. So if I substitute the limit, I get this as 0 by 0 form, which is an indeterminate form. And once we get this form, we get it here that this is not defined. So I can apply the orbital rule now to solve this limit here. So when I apply the orbital rule, it provides me with the freedom that I can take the derivative of the numerator separately as well as the denominator separately. So if I take that derivative of the numerator and denominator separately, let's understand what I get. So derivative of 8 root 2, 8 root 2 is a quotient value though that becomes 0. Minus something raised to 7. So derivative of that becomes 7 into that something raised to 6. And further we will take the derivative of that function which we took as something. So derivative of cos x plus sin x that gives me cos x derivative is minus sin x sin x derivative is cos x. Denominator we have your root 2's derivative is 0 minus root 2 sin 2x the derivative is cos 2x and further derivative of 2x is 2. So we get this entire idea and now my limit changes to limit extends to pi by 4 get minus 7 cos x plus sin x whole raised to 6. Further you have your cos x minus sin x and you have your minus 2 cos of right. Now let's see if I substitute the limit as pi by 4 again cos x pi by 4 that is 1 by root 2 sin pi by 4 is also 1 by root 2. So 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 raised to 6. That does not turn our entire term to become 0. So I can solve putting x as pi by 4 for this part of the function. Further, if I solve this, I get cos pi by 4, 1 by root 2, minus 1 by root 2. So 1 by root 2 here. And this also becomes 1 by root 2. So this turns our entire numerator to become 0. So this is the function which turns our function to become 0. And here also if I see, if I put x pi by 4, 2 into pi by 4, that is pi by 2 again. So cos pi by 2 again turns out 0. So this also turns out denominator to become 0. So because of these two functions, I'm getting again the indeterminate form that is 0 by 0. 
so i can again apply the l'hopital rule here but before that let's substitute the value of x as 5 by 4 in the function which does not give us zero so if i do that minus 7 into 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 the whole raised to 6 upon 2 root 2 again so minus 2 root 2 minus minus gets cancelled and I can solve it for the limit extends to pi by 4 numerator is cos x minus sin x and denominator is cos 2x now because of these two functions I'm getting the form 0 by 0 so I can again apply L'Hopital rule here for this function. So applying L'Hopital rule again. So let's see what I get here. This becomes 7. 1 plus 1 again 2. 2 by root 2 is root 2. Root 2 raised to 6 upon 2 root 2. This, if I apply L'Hopital rule, the derivative becomes cos x, the derivative is minus sin x minus cos x. And here you have cos 2x, cos 2x is derivative is minus sin 2x into derivative of 2x that is 2. Right? So we get this entire idea now. Now if I again apply, uh, apply the value of the limit which is given to us here. So if I apply here x again pi by 4, So if I do that on the next step, let's see. So I already have 7 root 2 raised to 6 is nothing but 2 cube. Denominator is 2 into root 2. Here we have minus sine pi by 4 plus cos pi by 4 upon. Here we have minus 2 sine of 2 into pi by 4. Now here we get 7 into 8 upon 2 root 2 into minus and minus gets cancelled. You have sine pi by 4 that is sine 45 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2. Denominator we have here 2 sine pi by 2 sine pi by 2 is already 1 sine so you get here 56 upon 4 root 2 into here you have 2 upon root 2. So if I solve this further, I get this as 56 into 2 upon 4 into 2. 2, two gets cancelled, 4 ones are 4 15 are. So correct answer for the question which was asked to us is 14. So limit of the entire expression which was asked to us, this entire thing, 8 root 2 minus cos x plus sin x raised to 7 upon root 2 minus root 2 into sin 2x. That turns out 14. So I hope you have understood how to solve these types of questions where you need to apply L'Hopital rule wherever you get indeterminate form that is 0 by 0 or 0 into that. So once you get that, you can apply L'Hopital rule. You can take the separate derivatives of numerator as well as the norm. And finally, you get the answer applying the limit as 14. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos with your friends so who are involved in the preparation of IITJW. Thank you.